This time on One Foot Flipper, we talk about junk drawer lots and how you can use them to get the junk out of your store. Stay tuned. One Foot Flipper. Hey everybody, I'm up and at him earlier than normal. Mm -hmm. Taking Julie to a dental appointment to keep those perfect teeth pretty. He got better teeth than daddy does, just say that. And more of them. Actually, no, I still have more teeth than you, but you'll have more than me eventually. I've got a couple that have been pulled in the back. They're in the front. I've got implants, but you can't see them, so I never did get them fixed. I think today, when once I finally get Julie back to school, I will uh, work on consolidating some of my really low dollar listings into lots. Uh, lotting up some records, video games, uh, lotting up the small things that have fallen down below three dollars into just junk drawer lots get that number of listings down hopefully get my which will hopefully improve my overall sell-through rate which isn't bad considering well as I saw I was in the middle of the road on my sell-through rate in my video on my last video so I'd like to do better than middle of the road that's what I'll be working on today and I'll have to make dinner probably have to make dinner again because uh, my brother-in-law is in the hospital he got an infection he's gonna be okay but she's been pretty wrapped up with that give a shout out to Kevin Commonwealth Picker I I won a Commonwealth Picker coffee mug on his all free giveaway show last night uh, Kevin asked that I please don't do a video on eight terrible ways that he packed the coffee bug. He said he's still going to try to ship it for his class. Don't worry, Kevin. There is not going to be a video about that whatsoever. In my, in my eBay shipping rules, I still have my my first class rule named first class, even though it's ground advantage now. One thing I can't figure out about ground advantage, though, is why is it ever more expensive than priority? Why is that ever a thing? I'm sure what the reality of it is, is that they're discounting the priority rates higher than the ground advantage rates. So if you were at the counter, like an animal, buying your postage, then ground advantage would always be cheaper, I would hope. But uh, who would ever want to go to the counter at the post office? Just, it's like going to the counter at the bank these days. You know, everybody in front of you doesn't know what they're doing, and they're only there to have a social they're only there for the social aspect of it, you know, buying a st one stamp from the, from the customer, or they have a serious issue, and it's never anything normal. I wonder what else is like that these days, that just, it's always a nightmare now that the, most of the normal people who don't have issues are just doing it online. Wish today was a Friday rather than a Thursday, there'd be a tiny chance we could hit some, uh, Friday morning sales on the way out, on the way home from the dentist, but there are no Thursday morning sales. That's not a thing. Also, I neglected to wear a coat. It's, you know, winter here. And am I wearing a coat? Nope, not at all. It's kind of hard to get a, since my leg's not fitting right, I'm not stable on it, so it's kind of hard to get the coat on. So, if I'm just not going to be hanging around outside, I just walked out today in shorts and a t-shirt. My daughter's all bundled up for winter, and I have shorts and a t-shirt. Luckily, there's working heater in my van, and it's all I really need. Hey, why don't we look at a few sales here. I sold this Department 56 Alpine Village E. Stobby Becker house for $16.42. It lights up. I sold a half dozen of or so of sledding snowmen to several different orders. We can put the names on them, or sometimes they already have the names on them of the people they go to. I sold Elton John, Madman Across the Water. The other day I spent about a half hour, and I previously had four set sections of records, each in alphabetical order, but I kept encountering records that weren't, weren't in the right section, so I went ahead and alphabetized all my records yesterday. So now I can actually find them faster. Somehow I sold another, another doll, porcelain doll, unbranded, with, oh, this one was with promoted listings though, $12.99, it was 2.6 promoted listings. 
I sold this Mercenaries faction deck, $4.23. I would have had a quarter in this. The local big miniatures placed by my house, sometimes they just blast out stuff like this that they don't that they are not getting orders for anymore, and they'll put it on their clearance shelf for a quarter. I'll usually buy them up. They usually don't move at all for a couple of years, but then the retail chain will eventually runs out of them, and then, then they suddenly become worth five to ten bucks. So, and usually I don't make a special trip there to get that stuff. I just was already going to be there. I sold a Dragon Attack poster. I'll just pop it up on the screen rather than trying to awkwardly unroll it in front of all of you because that never really go goes very well. And I'll have to put these on the screen because they're upstairs. I sold two Shirokia Matazera Uncle Japanese beer mugs, uh, $12.72. I sold a Precious Moments snow globe. You know I've had that for a long time because it's Precious Moments. $3.47. I stopped picking up anything Precious Moments quite some time ago. I'm really almost out of gourds after having sold that one. $11.17. I think I've only got one left. I only see one sitting there on the shelf, but there might also be one on the ground. I sold a, an original 1963 mousetrap game. The box is in rather poor condition, but the game is all there. Sold for $55. That came from the uh, $100 board game buy. Oh yeah, that poster did not come from AD the ADH Day poster buy. That was uh, some of my death pile posters that I already had. Sold a Panasonic home theater remote, $355. This is a slow sell-through remote, but I think I got it for free or something along those lines. I sold and cannot find a Wii Sports disc only. I'm pretty sure it's upstairs. It says it's in the gray crate, but I'm almost certain it's upstairs in this little bitty box with a bunch of other loose discs. All right, and that's all the sales I got for now. All right, time to pull out some old... Uh, old listings that are very low dollar and combine them up into lots or junk drawer lots. I've got three locations here, box two, box one, and box ten. I'm going to dial those SKUs into my eBay search and see what is in those boxes. It's just junk. Then we'll make some listings. All right, let's pack a few orders. Got quite a few of them here. Got a record album, Leon Redbone, sold for $4.56. Somehow this had the word mint in the uh, title, which is a mistake from me hitting sell similar, so hopefully there's no trouble with that. I try to never claim that anything is mint at all. Uh, I'll put this up on the screen because it's part. they come partially packed. Uh, sold my last of the Pokemon lenticular posters. They look different when you look at them from different angles. Sold for $69. So if you were uh, eyeing one of those, too late. They are all gone now. Sold this Warhammer guy. He's a leader of the Eldar faction. Uh, he sold for $18.82. Sold a baggie of five Games Workshop miniatures for a game called uh, Necromunda from the 90s. Sold for $31.49. That was on a 10% off offer. More miniatures. Yeah, it's one of those days. Uh, Warhammer Fantasy, Skaven, Gnaw Doom. He's got a little orb there. I think that's full of poison. He throws it at people. $17.46. Put it on the screen because it's still one of the few items located upstairs. A Hazel Atlas Flowers Pancake Waffle Syrup Container, $6.64, and it's glass. Looking forward to dealing with that. Uh, this one is a viewer sale. Uh, Chatty's Dolls, who are, had already purchased a Ultimate Pokemon Christmas present promo lot, put a picture up on the screen. They say, Paige, nice lot. I just couldn't resist buying one for myself. Love your YouTube channel. I'm a subscriber and check every day for a new video, Chatty's Dolls. I believe they had already bought one uh, last week for as a gift, and now they're buying one for themselves, if I remember right. And since that's a viewer, they will get a bonus item stuffed in there. Uh, so, a Gans balloon ornament uh, that I'm going to put the name Emerson on. I sold my very last craft gourd. $11.74. I got none left. So all of you wanting to take over the uh, gourd market, 
now is your time. Start planting those gourds. Get them ready for next fall. Because I won't be in that business next year. Sold the picture and phone number to uh, Jason uh, for the Girl Talk Dream Electronic Dream Phone game. Three ninety nine. Yeah, I've made 20 bucks off the cards off that game so far, in addition to the $100 the game sold for, because my game, for whatever reason, had extra cards. It looked like they had put pieced together two games to make one complete one, and left the extras in, and I sold it without the extras. I sold a train car. Bachman Big Hauler Circus Water Tank, $47.13. I also had those in all black that the person in special order and the all black ones were selling much better than the circus train ones. Which I guess makes sense. When it's all black you can paint it however you want to without having to undo the circus thing first. I sold a couple of Scrabble uh, replacement pieces. $3.98 plus shipping. I sold a baggie of Warhammer uh, Eldar Guardians. This is the most basic uh, unit for the Eldar, which are the Space Elves. Uh, $17.45. Sold six packets of Legion card inner sleeves. Uh, $9.99 for the lot. Sold another Ultimate Pokemon uh, gift pack. Uh, another viewer. I'm expecting all these to sell to viewers, even though I've got an incredible price on it. The various Pokemon lots section is so overblown, and most of it is promoted horrifically high because most of it's junk. And mine's not junk, but I can't also afford to promote it at 30% either. So they say, thanks for sending me this offer. You mentioned this lot on one of your recent videos, so I wanted to scoop them up for my 11-year-old for Christmas and support the hustle. Hope you have a wonderful holiday. Thanks, uh, the thrifty veteran. Put a link to his store down in the description below. Somehow I sold yet another porcelain doll, unbranded, with no promoted listings. This one's a bride. Sold uh, on a 10% off offer for $10.79. And I ship these in the same boxes I ship golf clubs in. I just cut them, wrap them up a little bubble wrap, cut the box down to size, and ship them that way. And they usually have to go UPS because, like, this is a 20-inch doll, so the box is going to end up at least 22 inches. And had a return request today for a $200 item. It was some sort of art print, and it had looked to me like it was hand signed and let hand signed and numbered. They said the hand signed and number was part of the print, and I just didn't even get upset about it at all. I just said, okay, just open the return. I'll take it back because maybe I was wrong. And if I'm not wrong and it really is hand signed and numbered, then it'll just sell again anyway. So, not that big of a deal. All right, let's get back to the rest of it. All right, I've taken a bunch of uh, bad listings down. Trying to watch ADH Dave's auction, but I better mute that somehow. All right, uh, Dave is getting so much money for unsearched boxes of magic cards on whatnot that it's making me want to uh, <laughs> sell on whatnot. But here's the results of me pulling a bunch of stuff. Bunch of bad listings. I got them all out here on the table. Those are all. Those auctions are all pulled. Now I'm gonna sort. I'm gonna sort these into two to three lots, trying to put similar items that would put similar people together, and then we'll take a look at the listings we get off that. Hey, let's look at some orders. I just had something come up. I like to let people know this from time to time because I just had somebody send me a large number of offensive messages across multiple platforms basically insulting me for being alive and wasting his tax dollars as a disabled person. I don't get disability. I choose to work. I am not taking any of your tax dollars whatsoever. I choose to work instead of getting disability. All right, let's look at some uh, sales here. Uh, I sold a huge uh, nativity still in the original box although the crash is missing sold for 81.25 i should be able to ship that in the original box i've pretty much marked down all my christmas stuff except for my quantity items heavily now because if they don't move in the next couple of days they're going to sit for a year sold my last box of uh terminator collectible card game cards 59 dollars 27 cents i bought a case of 36 of those at uh I think for $90 or $100 shipped several years ago, and I just got more and more money for each one of them as 
and time went on. And that was my very last one. Uh, so the t-shirt, it says, uh, this is a, not a beer belly, it's a gas for a sex machine or something like that. Branson, Missouri from the 90s. Uh, that was like 10 bucks, $9.40. Joan Jett and the Blackhearts, 11.43 for an Axe Library record. I guess, who knows, that must be a real good record when it's mint. Normally Axe Library is only worth a few bucks. Hey, I sold this vintage Magic the Gathering drawstring bag. It sold for $32.85. Had this in the store for a long time because I put it up, when I put it up, uh, all the comps were still height of COVID stuff and those bags went for quite a bit more back then. But it eventually sold. I sold a couple of different uh, arcade monitor manuals. They're about six bucks each, different customers. Not very interesting. Eight packs of 90 Spider-Man cards, $11.84. Snowman ornament with gift bag, uh, $5.73. I only have two gift bags left, so if you want a gift bag, you better order it now. Uh, ornament that says Jasmine on it, uh, $5.75, I believe. Uh, I think that's all the sales I got for this segment. Thanks. In the end, I ended up making three lots. Uh, one of them I called a state sale junk drawer lot, plush, Hot Wheels, diecast, etc. Put that up for 20. Here's a picture of it. Uh, the next one I called a state sale junk drawer lot, Nintendo, Atari, Sega, Dice, Gaming, Warhammer pendant. Put that up for 25. Here's a picture of that. And the last one I called a state sale junk drawer lot, pinback buttons, watches, spoons, remotes, knife, ram, etc. I put that one up for 30, and here's a picture of it. None of them have sold yet, but all of them have gotten a ton of views. Hey, thank you for watching. If you know anybody gets a ton of views, why don't you tell them about this channel? Till then, see you again soon.